Welcome to SVR IES Academy. In this geography video lecture, we will discuss about Northeast Monsoon. In the newspaper, you can see one title, Northeast Monsoon is going to start soon for India in the October 25th. In this background, we will discuss about Northeast Monsoon, when it starts, what is the mechanism and all other aspects. Northeast Monsoon usually starts in the October month and ends in December month. So October to December period is often referred as Northeast Monsoon season. It mainly brings rainfall to Peninsular India. It is one of the very important exam point. Northeast Monsoon mainly brings rainfall to Peninsular India. It is also called as Post Monsoon season. October to December month month period is also called as post monsoon season or also called as retreating southwest monsoon season retreating southwest monsoon season so an important point you should remember in this topic is northeast monsoon brings most of the rainfall to the peninsula india especially southern peninsula so it brings uh, rainfall to coastal andhra pradesh rayalaseema Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. For Tamil Nadu, it receives more than 50 percentage of its rainfall from northeast monsoon in the October to December month period. In Japan, uh, the super typhoon Lan weakened, so it removed the last hurdle in the formation of the northeast monsoon. If a super lagoon continues in the Japan area means it will weaken the formation of northeast monsoon. Another point you should know is the arrival of the northeast monsoon to India marks the reversal of the southwest monsoon. When southwest monsoon ends, it means the beginning of the northeast monsoon period. One major difference between the northeast monsoon and uh, southwest monsoon is Southwest, south, southwest monsoon starts in the ocean and winds flow from ocean to land. Whereas northeast monsoon forms in the land in the northeastern part of Russia that is Siberia. So it forms in the land and flows to ocean. So it is a dry wind that flows over the mainland of India. But when winds flow over Bangladesh, after that it reaches Bay of Bengal. When northeast monsoon flows over Bay of Bengal, it captures the moisture and the moisture laden winds when flow over the southern peninsula, especially over Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry, it gives rainfall. That is why Tamil Nadu receives more than half of its rainfall from the northeast monsoon. So overall, uh, southwest monsoon provides 80% uh, of the India's uh, rainfall and uh, Northeast monsoon provides 20 percentage of the rainfall to India. You might have studied about El Nino and La Nina and effect of the El Nino on the southwest monsoon. When El Nino occurs, southwest monsoon will bring less, less rainfall to the India. If La Nino occurs, southwest monsoon will bring more rainfall to India. Just opposite effect on the northeast monsoon. If Elino occurs, northeast monsoon will bring more rainfall to India, and if Lanino occurs, northeast monsoon will bring less rainfall to India. So Elino and Lanina has op opposite effects on northeast monsoon and southwest monsoon. So these are the important points on the northeast monsoon and its formation and how it brings uh, more rainfall to India and its impact of El Nino and uh, La Nina on the northeast monsoon. So let's revise each and every point for the IAS examination and all the best.